Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Satyajit Patnaik, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a unique topic, a new topic. I'm expecting that you know about hypothesis testing, which is one of the most important topics in statistics. If you don't know about hypothesis testing, I would recommend you to go ahead and watch out my video on hypothesis testing. Link should be in the i button. In this video and in the coming series, I'm going to talk about how multiple statistical tests are used. In this entire series, I have used Excel as a tool where I would be taking some examples and explaining you some of the statistical tests that we perform. We all know about Z tests, T tests, correlation tests, ANOVA, G square. But how do we apply? How do we come up with a null hypothesis? How do we come up with an alternate hypothesis? I'm going to explain each and everything in details. Well, this video is specifically for the Z test. And in upcoming videos, I'm going to talk about various other tests. So keep following my channel. Please like the video and share it with as much as possible. And if I get good traction to this video, if I get good number of likes and comments, I'll definitely come up with rest of the statistical tests, including t-test, ANOVA, g-square and so many. So let's get started. See you in the video. Hi, welcome to this module on statistics. And in this video, we shall be talking about our first statistical test, which is z-test. In the previous video, we talked about the general overview about the different types of statistical tests and we also discussed which type of test is applicable per which type of data. For one categorical data, one numerical data, combination of numerical and categorical, two categorical and two numerical. There are different types of tests that we perform. The first test that we are going to see today is going to be on Z test. In order to perform this Z test, we have 10, 10 people each who are female and male and I have their ages. So we are going to perform our Z test. Now before getting into this, let's try to understand what exactly a Z test and what's going to be our null hypothesis and alternate, alternate hypothesis for this particular example. A Z test is used to compare the mean of two given samples and infer whether they are from the same distribution or not. We do not implement Z-test when the sample size is less than 30. We know that here, in this case, the sample size is less than 30. So Z-test is logically not applicable here, but we will try to apply and see and interpret if we applied Z-test, what would have been the scenario, whether we will accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis or something like that. Before getting into this problem, let us try to note down our null hypothesis. Before noting down the null hypothesis, I am repeating once again, this data is of 20 customers or 20 people, 10 females and 10 males and I have their ages, different ages. So here my null hypothesis will be, there is no significant difference between the mean age of males and females and the alternate hypothesis will be the opposite of it there is a significant difference between the mean age of males and females in this particular example i'm going to use the significance level as 0.05 which we already know that most of the st statisticians use this significance level. So whatever p-value we will get from this z-test, based on that we will be deciding whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. We already know the conditions. If my p-value is greater than 0.05, which means we have to accept the null hypothesis. And if p-value is less than 0.05, then we have to reject the null hypothesis. I hope everybody is clear on this thing. Now, what I need to do is, before, before, before getting into that, let me discuss about the formula of the z-test. Z-test is basically your x1 bar minus x2 bar. x1 bar is your 
this mean mean age of female x2 bar is the mean age of your males for the sample population mu1 is the mean of your population data for the female customers and mu2 is the population mean of the male data male customers sigma1 is our standard deviation for female sigma2 is the standard deviation of male n1 is the number of count for the female customers and n2 is for the male customers simple so how to perform the z test i'm pretty much sure this option might not be visible in your excel sheets what you need to do right now is simply go to file and go to these options and here you will be able to see add-ins and here in my case this analysis tool pack is already activated in your case you have to activate that pack there are so many blogs and videos which you can take reference from and activate the pack. So once your pack is activated, you might have to restart your Excel. You just restart your Excel and get started with again. Now I will quickly jump into the Z test part. So I'm going to click on this data and then click on data analysis. You can see when I'm clicking on data analysis, I am able to see a lot of options lot of options that is related to data analysis in this case i'm going to perform the z test to sample for means before getting into that i would also need to calculate the variance of female and male ages so here i will note down var1 and var2 and i'm going to calculate the variance of the female users and same I will just drag it so that it will auto calculate for the male users. Now these are the two variances that we have. So 9.95 is the variance of female age and for male age it is 14.32. So I'll click on data, go to data analysis. Now here I'm going to click on the Z test to sample for means. The moment I click, you can see automatically some of these values are auto populated because uh, I was kind of doing some practice just few minutes back uh, so you in your case everything should be null so you should look like your window should look like this how to get started click on this and then it will ask for a range of the first column so pass it similarly for this the range of the second column as you have already included the headers click on labels by default it will be turned off click on labels my hypothesized mean difference will be zero because i am assuming that the population difference is zero that's my assumption right that there is no significant difference between the mean age of male and female so my hypothesized mean difference will be zero the variable one variance will be 9.95 the variable two variance will be 14. 3, 2. Alpha is my significance level which is set as 0 0.05. Where do you want the output? Let's say I'll click on this and click on this. That means I need the output in this cell. The moment I click on OK, you can see my Z test output is ready. Now how to interpret this table? It's very simple. The first is your mean value. So for female age, the mean value is 22. If you want to validate that, you can probably validate that in a different in a different uh, cell. And you can see the average of the female age is 28.2 and same the average age of the male will be 25.9. The variance is already predefined. How many observations do we have? We have 10 observations. Hypothesized mean difference is 0. Now, I hope everybody knows about one tail test and two tail test, right? Now, in this case, you can you can basically consider any of this, either one tail or two tail. But in both the cases, your p value is greater than 0 0.05. And as p value is greater than 0 0.05, which means we have to accept the null hypothesis. So in this particular example, we are going to accept the null hypothesis and conclude 
that there is no significant difference between the mean age of male and females and you know obviously the age of female is 28.2 age of male is 25.9 it looks little bit different from human point of view but from this particular statistical test we conclude that there is no significant difference between the mean age of males and females now this is how you calculate your z test using excel you can also perform this test using python as well so there are different strategies different libraries that you will be using to calculate which we might study in future but as of now that's all about this particular topic on z test in the next videos we shall be talking about various other tests related to t test correlation chi square anova and so on so see you in the next video